Hey, good morning, it's Barrett with Porta Keeper, and it is New Grinder Day. So I got this Brazza ESP in the mail yesterday. I've been excited to get it unboxed. I opted for the black one. Uh, it is available in black and white. It's about $200 US, so really pretty good price for an entry level grinder. And off to the side, you can see this is my older version. It is the Preciso. They don't make this anymore. They, they kind of replaced it with the 270. Um, this one has the main adjustment and then it has a micro adjustment as well. So it's kind of made for espresso. I don't have it um, anymore, but there was another bin that you could kind of prop. It was like a portafilter cradle. And that was kind of a nice feature, but this is kind of what the old Encore was. It is about the same size. I think it's a little bit smaller than this, but I wanted to just unbox this today. Let's do just a quick side by side. We're not even going to do anything with it. Now we have the instructions and we have a box in a box. Let's pull it out. It's a bit awkward. So let's set that on the ground. And then we have another box. So it looks like I had a little bit of damage on the outside. It looks like it's probably going to be fine being double box like this. So it looks like we have the hopper lid, which has a protective film on it, and the hopper. Let's pull this cardboard out. Now it should just be the grinder. Maybe some accessories, we'll see. So there is the grinder. And it has a little bin in the front. Looks like the bin has, it has your cleaning brush. I actually still have mine from this Preciso and I actually still use it quite a bit. So it's been a pretty decent little cleaning brush. Uh, it looks like a tray and a small dosing cup, a lever, let's see, and a shim. Okay, my other one didn't come with a shim. So a little bit smaller, honestly, than the Preciso. So I can't remember if the original Encore was the same size as this, but I feel like it was a bit smaller. I never had one, so I've just seen them at people's houses and stuff. So looks like the burr is kind of loose in here. Um, has a little rubber gasket that you want to make sure is aligned. It looks like this burr is really easy to take out. Line up the red notch with the red. And then your little indicator on the side. And it locks into place. So this is kind of the same as the Encore. The Encore actually has a metal, or not, I said the Encore. The Preciso actually has a metal one. And of course it didn't want to come off today. But a lot cheaper lever. But this was also $400 back in the day, where this is 200 bucks. So let's put this on. Make sure I orient it right. And it's just an on off. This is actually a timer, which it's not much of a timer, but it's not gonna just keep running. Where this one, you're gonna have to flip on and off. Now we have our lid. Let's peel the protective coating off the top. It's nice and clear. I've always liked the more clear hoppers personally. They both kind of have their place, but I feel like I like the clear a little bit more, personally. Uh, it looks like it has a dosing cup, but it looks kind of small. So it looks like it does fit on the 58 kind of loosely, but it does work. I wonder, I don't have one here. I wonder if it fits on a 54 millimeter Breville. I'll have to follow up on that. I don't, I have my Breville at my house right now, but the cup seems a bit small. So it might fit the Breville pretty good. Maybe they did that on purpose. Uh, let's pull that out and I don't know which way this goes. Okay, it goes the other way. So it kind of has a little tray insert and your cup. So in comparison on this one, it actually had a completely different bin that had a cutout in the front. 
the little portafilter cradle. And there was no small dosing cup, so I guess that's kind of cool, actually. Um, kind of side by side, this one is narrower. Not by much, uh, maybe a centimeter. Uh, I don't have anything to measure it with here. But same height, pretty much the same size overall. It looks like it has the button to trigger the dose in the front, just like this one. I didn't use it much because the grinder's so light, it wants to slide. This one, the feet seem pretty grippy on it, but... Uh, I usually just did the side on off, but that is pretty nice. Like if you're just trying to give it a little bump, bump, bump to top off your cup, that's pretty cool. But this is it in a nutshell. Uh, we're going to play with it more over the next few weeks. I know this is a pretty popular grinder right now. We'll see if we need this shim. I kind of doubt it. But this is the unboxing. Hit subscribe. It helps me out. Um, we're actually going to have at least one more new grinder coming this week. So make sure to watch for that. I think that one will be a lot of fun too. Uh, if you have this grinder, comment below. That's always fun. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. We're going to kind of put it through its paces and see where it's going. Thanks for watching.